So what are the five worst Blu-ray changes by Marpa? Shut up and sit down. Yo, what's good as a boy do the views? And with volume 4 containing episodes 82 to 87 coming out this time next week, I decided to go back and rank my top 5 worst Blu-ray changes. This is my opinion and despite the Blu-ray enhancing a lot of the scenes, there were some changes that I absolutely disliked. You don't have to agree with me, it's just my opinion. Coming in at number 5, Grisha's eyes in this scene. While his character design is more or less the same from the TV version, I just didn't like how they added a shadow over his eyes. Despite the Blu-ray being a bit more accurate due to the fact that Grisha's hair is over his eyes, casting a shadow over them, I just liked the way his eyes popped in the TV. You saw the fear and anxiety in his eyes, but in the Blu-ray, you don't see that. It's just gone, mate. It almost looks like he's wearing shades, but it's at the bottom of the list because it's such a subtle change and it's more or less a nitpick. Number four, Mikasa's backward slash. While the animation is exactly the same and we got to see a little bit of that Ackerman greatness, I do love the shadow overlay over the three characters in the shot of the TV versus the Blu-ray. When you remove that shadow and make the background a little bit more colorful, your eyes don't quite know what to look at in the Blu-ray as there is no point of focus. The TV one had a point of focus being Mikasa and the smoke coming from her as out of the three characters in that shot her shadow was the lightest one so your eyes are more or less drawn to Mikasa. It's quite low on the list because it's such a subtle change and I do admit that I do like the Blu-ray change for what it is but the TV one just feels a little bit more cinematic in my opinion. Number three the trees panning in episode 80. While the lighting and the overall shading and some of the designs of the trees does look a little bit better in the Blu-ray, I do like the really fast panning tracking shot in the TV. You really got the sense that you were one of those Eldian riders chasing your mirror in this scene. But despite all that, I do like how by slowing the speed down on the trees, we do appreciate the beauty of the Marpa tree backgrounds in the Blu-ray version. Number two is the path's lightning beam of Ymir's first transformation. While some of the comments from this episode did make a good point on how Ymir was the first Titan and how it wouldn't make sense to see the tree branches, I can't deny the fact that the Blu-ray does look a little bit inferior to the TV one just because of how energetic and exciting the TV version looks. With Ymir being the first Titan transformation, you do expect it to be a little bit more sporadic, a little bit more wild, in my opinion. And the TV one perfectly did that. I mean, every time I see this shot in the TV, it just sends chills down my spine dude. So while I do agree with the comments on how the Blu-ray one is more accurate, I gotta be honest dude, the TV one just nails it. Now before I talk about my number one worst Blu-ray change, let's talk about some honourable, or in this case, dishonourable mentions. The campfire scene in the flashback of episode 78. I do like the way the campfire was designed and animated in the TV one, but when you compare it to the Blu-ray, it looks like it was made in After Effects or something like that. It doesn't have the charm or the warmth that the TV one represented in my opinion. These bubbles. Looking back at this shot, I must admit that I do prefer the TV one more than the Blu-ray. Adding those bubbles made the whole scene look a little bit more interesting, as well as it being visually appealing, but removing it, to be honest with you, it looks kind of bland, dude. And finally, the assets of Frida Rice. While her Blu-ray face is a lot more consistent to her overall character design, she's missing a little something, if you know what I mean. But the number one worst Blu-ray change, in my opinion, has got to be... This face of Aaron Yeager. This is just my opinion, but while I do love how they darkened his hair in the Blu-ray version, there's no denying the fact that the TV one is just a little bit more superior. I mean, don't you get chills looking at Aaron's face in the TV shot? Just the way they drew his face just gave off this presence of him being the Grim Reaper. I feel like that entire aura is completely lost in the Blu-ray, with the slight change to his eyes and nose. In my opinion, he kind of looks a bit off model in the Blu-ray, and that's why I out of all the major changes made in episode 76 to number 81, this is the worst change of the Marpa Blu-ray 
volume 3. But my list might not be the right list, it's just a list. Tell me in the comments down below what changes do you think were the worst in your opinion. I'll do a separate video talking about the top best changes of the Blu-ray and it'll be a lot more than 5 trust me. But like this video, subscribe for more Attack on Titan TV vs Blu-ray comparisons, particularly that of Volume 4 episodes 82 to 87 coming out this time next week. Check out all my other AOT videos, the final season part 2 in review and my initial reactions to those episodes, as well as my anime vs manga comparisons and my Wit Studio vs MAPA comparison videos. But thank you for watching and as always, aboard the review, signing out.